Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to prove that F is equal to MA. You perhaps heard of this equation. This is called Newton's second law. But in reality, it isn't actually Newton's second law. This is just a special case of Newton's second law. So let me state the general law, which we will then use to derive this special case. So the actual Newton's second law, which perhaps let's write it here. Newton's actual second law, it states that force F is equal to the time derivative of a quantity called P. And P is a vector, as you can see. So you're asking, perhaps, what is P? Well, P is defined as mass times the velocity. And it is called the momentum. So, how can we use this actual law to prove the special case which perhaps you are and perhaps most of us are more familiar with, especially in elementary physics, we often use that F is equal to MA. So, how can we prove it? The way that I will do is, I will first write the left side one more time. So, F is equal to, we will have our derivative with respect to time and instead of P, I am just going to write mass times the velocity. So we are interested in finding the time derivative of mass times velocity. We have the derivative of a product here. So you, we should use the product rule, which I proved in a previous video. You can access it from the cards right now. So using that formula, which I derived, this, will, uh, this de derivative will simply give us the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. This is, as I said, using the product rule. Here we will make an important substitution. We will say that we are taking dm over dt, the time derivative of mass, to be equal to zero. So what does this mean? This means that mass does not change as time goes on. So this is just meaning that mass is a constant. All right. And this actually makes sense in a lot of real life problems. For example, if you have an object sliding on an inclined plane, its mass will not change throughout the motion, which means we can actually make this substitution. So this goes, the first term is canceled. And what kind of a zero is that? The first term is, well, I should, still couldn't write it. The first term is gone. All right. Now let's focus on the second term. We have the time derivative of our velocity. This is by definition equal to our acceleration. So we have that F is equal to A times M, which means if we arrange it, rearrange it, it means that F is equal to mass times acceleration. And that is it. We proved a special case of Newton's second law using Newton's actual law, Newton's actual second law. You might be wondering where we would need the actual law, where would, we, where would we need this derivative definition. Well, if you are dealing with a rocket, your mass will be changing because as the fuel uh, is shooting out of our rocket, its mass will change. So dm over dt will not be constant. And for very high speeds near the speed of light, uh, the mass of an object tends to increase. It will increase using... Einstein's special relativity, and in that case, uh, this Newton's equations would fail, and there are relativistic equations for those. But they are completely off topic right now. They are the focus of a future video, I would say. So if you have any questions about this derivation, please write them in the comment section. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.